my name is Heather. Welcome to my channel if you are new. I have been getting asked so many questions about NFP and if asked if I would give my testimony to NFP and so today that's what I'm going to be talking about is my story on NFP. Now this I'm not going to be talking specifically on how to do NFP but just how it worked for me and what happened and all of that stuff. I will say that the reason I do NFP is because I completely and totally agree with the Catholic Church. The Catholic Church is very into to NFP. <laughs> they do not believe that artificial birth control is okay. So they don't think that taking the pill, using a condom, the pull out method, all these different ways to stop pregnancy that are artificial um, are okay. So the Catholic Church believes that when we come together as a married couple that you need it needs to be free, faithful, total, and fruitful. And so that, and I totally and completely agree with that. So I should say that my husband and I have had a very interesting NFP road. And so when I told my husband that I was going to give this talk, he kind of laughed <laughs> and you'll understand why. So, so what happened was I was 30 when I got married and I wanted about a dozen kids. Um, I really thought I would never need NFP because um, I wanted so many kids and I was already 30. And so I, I, my husband and I never took a class or anything like that. We were just open to God's will and really wanted to have children. And so come to find out, it took us two years to get pregnant. I thought, you know, my mom had, you know, biologically eight children. And so I thought for sure that that was how we, you know, that it would be super easy and I'd get pregnant on my honeymoon and you know because we were totally open to, to life right from the get-go and come to find out that is not what happened and so what happened was two years later almost to the date we had our our first child and I even bought an ovulation kit because I just wanted a baby so much if you know me i love children i was a nanny before i just have always been so excited about being a mother and a wife and so i was heartbroken it was so hard the infertility for the first year and a half and so i was really struggling and so i bought a ovulation kit to try to get pregnant and come to find out I finally got I got pregnant I think that week or something I like of course you know I buy the ovulation kit and I get pregnant I find out I'm pregnant like a week later <laughs> so I feel like God's kind of funny like that sometimes but so didn't need it so I actually got rid of it because I'm like oh I'll never need that again because you know because um, here I am pregnant it's it's worked you know so I had my first child and I had to have a C-section. It was a really rough, preg or not pregnancy, but um, delivery. And I thought it would go easy. My mom had, you know, ate all naturally. And I have a whole thing on C-sections videos if you want me to, to post that. But I um, am pregnant with my fourth and I'm doing my fourth C-section. So, and that's where my NFP story comes in. So, <laughs> So anyway, so I end up having a C-section and it is rough. It's a really rough recovery and just, yeah, it was rough. So come to find out, I get pregnant. Um, what was it? Six months, five months later, six months later. And if you know anything about C-sections, you're not supposed, you're supposed to wait a full year, let your body recover before you have another baby. So come to find out that you know when they cut me open for my second c-section the doctor you know told me after that my uterus was extremely thin and she recommends that I have no more children and that you know she just kind of seemed like in a panic and so of course I'm in a panic because I wanted you know I wanted 
okay, I'll probably seven kids is more <laughs> more realistic. But I, I wanted a big family, and so I had you know that kind of freaked me out, and I had and that's what introduced me to NFP is because pretty much the doctor was like, you're gonna die. Like she. Looking back now, she was very dramatic, and I just want to give you a heads up if you are having C-sections. Some doctors are extremely dramatic about um, about it and act like the world is coming to an end, and that is not always the case. So anyway, that's a whole other story, and like I said, I have a C-section video that I talk all about all that. So. Um, so freaked out as I was, I, you know, I thought maybe do we use artificial birth control? Like my body, you know, I could die. The baby inside of me could die if I get pregnant again. Like, what do I do? And thankfully, my amazing, wonderful husband was like, Heather, that is not an option. Like, that is not okay, like, in the Catholic Church. And I knew that, but a part of me was thinking, you know, what if, you know, maybe there's a certain circumstance that the church is okay with it. Come to find out, there's nothing, like, pretty much there is nothing that, that the church will be okay with you using artificial birth control. So, I, and, and that makes sense. Like, it, it's very, and thankfully, because now I have, I'm on my fourth beautiful child. And so I, I can say that I live freely and openly for God. You know, I, um, you know, I feel bad that I even thought those thoughts because I understand the church's teaching on them now and it makes sense. But at the time I was freaked out and you know, all of that. So anyway, come to find out. So I started doing um, my husband and I went to an instructor and we started using the Creighton method, which is all about the, the mucus, you know, like the stretchier and whiter your mucus is, the, um, you know, if it looks like egg whites, then you're extremely fertile and so on. So, so we did that and, and it seemed to be working for, I want to say a year and a half. It worked for a year and a half and and then my husband, uh, his company wanted him to move to China and wanted us to move with him for a year. And they didn't know if I could go with him. And you know, it was just a very stressful time. Turns out that um, I believe that my body double peaked, which can happen if you're under a lot of stress. And so the NFP, because at a certain point I was like, oh, my fertile point, you know, happened and I'm good to go, you know, and that's actually not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to continue every single day to use the, um, you just, you wipe and you see if there's, you know, the, the mucus. And so, so I was not doing it completely and totally the way you were supposed to. But come to find out, God had other plans and used that. And so I found out I was pregnant literally the day the Packers were coming. Found out I was pregnant and freaked out like, like you can, you would never <laughs> know. I was hysterical. I was crying. I was like, what? I cannot have a baby in China. Like, you know, just, oh, it was very dramatic <laughs> for me. And so, um, so it didn't work. So my the Creighton method, that was the first time, didn't work. It was a little rough, um, and and which was which was hard for me. So anyway, so then have the baby. It turns, looking back now, it was awesome. God's hand was totally in it. It, it always is. Like it's always God's plan, even though it might not seem like it, but. Oh my goodness, I can't even imagine my life with without my little Zachary. So, so it's neat, because if I would've used artificial birth control, I would've never met Zachary. And I know that that, you just live in such a freedom, knowing that you're open to God's will. And that's what that was. And you know, we were past the one year mark and all of that. So, you know, we were planning towards the end of China, the year in China to get pregnant and have more, but um, God had other plans and it was a crazy plan and 
it worked out awesome and it you know it's quite the adventure when you live your life for god and you're fully open and trusting it's an adventure let me tell you and it's awesome but um so that was my first time where my the creighton method didn't work and i will say it was i had we had an awesome instructor she was great but it was me i was not the i was not very good at being consistent and all of that so so if you're in the creighton method and this then don't know that i i do agree with the creighton method i just it's not very good for me because of my circum i'm just not good with it let's just say that so then comes baby number four who i'm pregnant with right now and gonna give birth to her in a couple couple of weeks and god um that was another shocker i'm not gonna lie <laughs> um you know the doctor i should say when they cut me open for zachary the doctor was awesome and he said you know you're you're great like i don't know what the other doctor was saying like you know because she recommended that i have if i do get pregnant have the baby at 37 weeks and so he's like you know when i cut you open that everything looked great and you look fine to go and um you're you can have another baby and so my husband and i were so excited that you know because that was our third one and the doctor before was like no no more children never again kind of thing so um so anyway so he said just make sure you wait a year and thankfully <laughs> i waited a year i didn't get my period back until 10 months and but you know before then if you know like you're kind of in a panic the whole time before you get your cycle back like okay am i pregnant like it's a little bit like russian roulette like you don't know what if you're you know fertile or not because you can get pregnant before you get your period because you're fertile before you get your period and so that was a little stressful because of my circumstances um but we you know did nfp the best that we could i did the you know the the mucus you know the creighton method again and thankfully i did catch it before you know i had my first period so so that was good then a couple months go by and you doing the nfp as well the creighton method and i find out that i'm pregnant again and that was a total shocker again because looking at my charts it did not add up and it makes sense um and so i <laughs> I, I was shocked again, probably not as shocked as with Zachary, just because of the circumstances, but I was just not ready to have another baby. I just, it was really rough for me. I didn't know what to do. I mean, obviously I'm gonna have the baby and it's gonna be great and it's gonna be God's will and all of that. So, um, but it was just rough. It wasn't what I had intended. You know, we were gonna wait at least, you know, I. I had a whole plan to, you know, take my husband on vacation. Like we, we'd go on vacation in the summer because the kids would be old enough, and uh, my sister's wedding was in the summer. So I was, you know, I didn't want to be big and pregnant for her wedding. And if you know, I was big and pregnant for her wedding, <laughs> and it was beautiful. It was fine, and um, I fit into the the bridesmaid's dress, thankfully. But anyway, but it was just something that. I was not planning. I was going to try to get pregnant in the summertime and it just wasn't God's will, you know? And that's the awesome thing about NFP is it's not about my will. It's not about me. It is about God, you know? And, and so anyway, so with all this being said, I feel like the Creighton method for me, and I know a lot of other women who struggle with the Creighton method because, because it's, it's, it's hard in the way that they have to wipe every time and you have to chart it. If you do it correctly, it works. It does. But I struggle with doing it correctly, apparently. <laughs> 
So we'll see. We'll see what the doctor says this time, if, you know, if my body can have more children or not. I feel like the doctor I have this time is very pro-life and she's even mentioned that, you know, some people, their fourth C-section, it doesn't look bad at all and it's easy. And another thing is all the doctors, from what I understand, see different things. So what might be thin to one doctor, like the one with my second, was not the, you know, did not see the same thing that my other doctors might see. So what might be thin for one is not always thin for the second, so, or the other one. So with that being said, I am gonna be switching over to a different method because the, I just realized the Creighton method is not for me. So I've been doing a lot of research and asking a lot of people and pretty much what people have said is the ovulation kit, which is I think the Marquette method is the most accurate as far as the downside to it is it's expensive because you have to buy an ovulation kit, which can, I think it's like a hundred over a hundred dollars and you have to use a strip every day, which I think is over a dollar every day. But I've heard that it's easy. You wake up, you, you know, you go to the bathroom on it and it's pretty accurate. And so I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm also on top of that, just to be sure is doing the um, temperature. So first thing you do when you wake up or you have to do it the same time every morning, you take your temperature and you document it. And, and then I'm going to kind of co correlate the two because I just have a feeling that things are different in my body this time around, you know, and, and the Catholic church does say, you know, like you can abuse NFP as well because Obviously, you want to be open to God's will and all that, but you still, like, there should be a good reason why you're using NFP, you know, um, and it's between you and your husband if it's a good reason or not. You, your husband, and God, and uh, for me, it is medical reasons, and I am sad about that because I really did want to have a big family, um, seven children, you know, and and so we'll see, we'll see what God has in mind. Maybe there's more, I don't know, but I know that I need to give my body a break. You know, my my oldest is five and he will be, um, he'll be five when I have my fourth child. So we have been going pretty strong on these kids, you know, and so for my body, that's kind of a lot. And I'm, I'm kind of nervous because I, I know that I could get pregnant again because I'm not using birth control, but I, it's not worth losing my soul over. Like I, I really feel strongly that, you know, if I were to use artificial birth control, I would be playing God. And, and if you read the Bible, the, everything in the Bible, it's all about trusting in God. And I just want to trust in him. And I can say right now that I have no regrets. You know, I don't have any regrets. Even if God were to take my life, you know, through this pregnancy or something like that, I have no regrets. That's God's will. Like he can take me whenever he wants. I am, I'm his fully and completely, you know, obviously I'm going to do my best to do, to stay alive <laughs> like, and live uh, for my children. I would love to see them grow up. But ultimately, like this world, like nothing is worth lo losing our soul over. And I feel like just, you know, artificial birth control is a form of playing God. And that is not okay. Not okay at all. So anyway, so I hope this helped. This is kind of my testimony about NFP. It has not been an easy road, as you can tell but I am pregnant with my fourth and it's a da my daughter and I'm excited to meet her and I know I wouldn't have met her if I didn't, if I wasn't open to God's will. And I can honestly say that I just, I'm so thankful for, you know, all that God has given to me and it's all a blessing, you know, even though it might not look at like it at the time, 
it's completely and totally a blessing. So I hope that you understand that. I hope you, you know, look it into Himana Vitae. Um, you know, if there's questions, because obviously the church is has very strong stance. I know that a lot of priests don't always talk about this. I think it's uncomfortable for them is my guess, but um, Theology of the Body by John Paul II is awesome. It's very uh, dense though. <laughs> so Christopher West, if you buy some of his books, he kind of breaks it down so you can understand it. And it's just, it's awesome when you just are fully open to God's will. So anyway, I hope that this helped you.